right, it is five o'clock, so I will call this meeting to order. Uh, starting out with the roll call, Alder Felby? Here. Alder Perella? Here. Uh, Alder Ackley and <clears throat> Alder Flecky Pinesky are excused. Uh, we do have a quorum, so moving on to the Pledge of Allegiance, will you all please stand and join me? I pledge allegiance to the flag one nation, under that, all. All right, barring any objections, we'll skip over introductions today. Uh, that brings us to item number five, which is approval of the minutes. Uh, any discussion on the minutes? Otherwise, we'll be looking for a motion to approve. I move to approve. All right, we have a motion and a second then, seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye, the ayes have it, and the motion passes. With that, we are on to item number six, which is resolution number 25 of 2223, a resolution authorizing an appropriation in the 2022 budget for grant funds received under the 2022 Wisconsin Bureau of Transportation Safety, Bicycle and Pedestrian Enforcement Grant. Who would like to take this one? I can. Uh, for those of you that have not yet met me, I'm Kurt Zempel. I'm the patrol captain for the Sheboygan Police Department. Um, so hopefully this part of it is, uh, is somewhat straightforward. We uh, were notified recently that we were eligible to receive a grant from the State Department of Transportation for bike and pedestrian safety patrols. Um, this is similar to a grant that we received last year, except that it's for $15,000 this year. Last year it was just $5,000. Uh, and so our intent with the grant is to uh, conduct primarily pedestrian safety patrols at um, events and at times uh, over the summer where we have um, the increased risk of pedestrian involved crashes. Um, and so last year primarily we used it for um, uh, pedestrian and traffic enforcement around our bar district on busy bar nights, um, especially focusing on 10th and Michigan and 9th and um, Indiana, where we have lots of people crossing the street in crosswalks and um, lots of vehicle traffic in the area at that time. Um, it also has the added benefit of just uh, providing an opportunity for police presence in those areas, which is helpful for lots of other reasons. Um, and uh, but this this year, uh, because of the increase in the grant, we are going to use it for other types of events uh, throughout the summer downtown, um, where there is an increased pedestrian traffic and therefore an increased risk for pedestrian safety. So, um, as far as the financial side of it, um, so LHPS heard this on Wednesday night last week and approved it. Uh, uh, the financial side of it, um, working with uh, Caitlin and finance, um, this is how we did it last year, where we increased the overtime budget by the amount from the state grant. Um, and with the corresponding increase then in the state grant account. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, questions or comments from committee members? I'm just curious, so last year we had one for $5,000 and was last year the first year that we got the grant of this type? Of this type, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? No. If not, we'll be looking for a motion to approve on this one. I move to approve. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second then, seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye, the ayes have it, and the motion passes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving on to item number seven, which is resolution number 26 of 22-23, a resolution approving an amendment to the project plan and boundaries of tax incremental district number 16, city of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Thank you, Chair. So this is in regards to bringing the she former Sheboygan Press Building into the TIF district. So tax, increment, tax incremental financing district number 16 is what we consider the downtown district. Um, it runs from the Sheboygan River up to, um, I want to say the Wild Center, give or take, and then kind of includes some properties to the uh, east. This is just bringing in the parcel that Sheboygan Press Building sits on in order to provide development incentives uh, to the developer to renovate that into apartments. So this was, um, those would be, there's 29 workforce housing uh, units on a lower rent scale that will be uh, utilizing that property when it's renovated. 
Um, we're working on a developer's agreement right now that lays out the terms and that'll be coming forward uh, in the coming weeks from for the council to consider as well. Um, but this is part of the process that we've worked with with Ellers to amend the district to bring this parcel into the district. So the uh, Planning Commission held a public hearing about two weeks ago. There was nobody present and they voted in favor. The Joint Review Board um, met that same day. The Joint Review Board is made up of all the taxing jurisdictions under state statute and they were and voted in support of it as well. So. This is coming before this body and then when the council adopts it, the joint review board will meet one more time and just confirm what the council did and then it will be brought into the TIF district. Questions or comments? Yes, Jay. Alder Perella. Is this the same developer that uh, owns the former US bank parking lot on eight and pen? No. Nope. No. This is the developer that owns the apartments, Cardinal, the developer's Cardinal Capital, and they own the seventh and Penn apartments that are built to the east of the Salvation Army. Okay. Um, we go ahead with the amendment to the TID, and then, um, then it, I mean, it's unrelated, that part, the amendment, is unrelated to the agreement itself with Cardinal, right? It may That's not correct. work for whatever reason, but the two things are separate anyway, That's correct. right? Okay, yes. thank you. Any other discussion? No. Thank you, Chairman. Elder Heidemann. I, I, just one question. What is the impact on this increase to the, uh, on the general fund? Because this was normally just a, a regular taxed area that that money was coming into the general fund. What is that impact? Or where, where's what do? Or, or again, I understand about the development area, but just when you take something. So out the the property right now is assessed at three hundred and sixty thousand. So whatever that calculates out to is probably you know a couple thousand dollars in taxes that we get That's off it, okay. of it. The, the, the developer is planning to invest, um, I wanna say three and a half million total. So that increased value then would be captured into this district. Um, and then when the district closes, this is TID 16 is one of the districts that Ellers had recommended that could close I think five or six years early if we don't have any other major public infrastructure improvements to do. Um, so then it'll ultimately come on the tax rolls, but without TIF, we wouldn't see the value of the delta between the three million and 360,000. Okay, and I, I appreciate it. So uh, the retirement of the, uh, that TIF, what, what is the year, is that 2031? It's a 20, it's a 2020 district, it's a 20 year district that was created in 2016. Okay. Um, but the Public Works Department is utilizing it every year. That's it's funding all the conversion of the high pressure sodium lights downtown to LED lights. Mm -hmm. So we're using TIF, dist TIF funds to do that. Oh. Um, and I know they have some other capital projects. So once those get finished and we've paid off our development incentives, then we can look at closing it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Any other discussion? If not, we'll be looking for a motion to approve on this one. Yeah, we, we move to recommend, right? Yeah. I move to recommend to the council. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second then, seeing no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye, the ayes have it, the motion passes. Uh, Looks like our next regularly scheduled meeting will be on June 27th. And with that, we have exhausted our agenda and we'll be looking for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second. All right, motion and a second. Seeing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Chair votes aye, the ayes have it, the motion passes. We are <coughs> adjourned. Thank you, Chair. Uh -huh.